Time to find out who's won. For the losing chefs, there's a sting in the tail. They'll have to go back into the kitchen and make dessert. We have deliberated very long and hard, and it has, as always, but I think particularly been a tough decision this time. Simon, your trio of potato cakes, they were such a great take on an old favorite. Matt, your beef tartare, what a looker. But you know what? Both those dishes absolutely brilliantly demonstrated what we hoped would happen, which was to show people just how much waste there is and what imagination could do. However, we have now made a decision. The winner for the starter course is... Matt Tebbit. Now we, we have a first course and we now have to choose the main course and we have Angela's pig ravioli, a celebration of the pig, a mountain of pig. <laughs> and Richard's halibut and cod wrapped up in courgette and the ratatouille of pig's trotter. I have this fantastic vision, which I hardly get out of my head, which of Richard standing in a dustbin. <laughs> how, how he managed to get in is one question. <laughs> how he managed to get out, frankly, beggars the imagination. Very agile, very agile. Yeah. Anyway, we still have to make a decision, and it is about a menu, it is about balancing things, and it is about the banquet. And so the dish which we have chosen between us to go as the main course is Richard's celebration of fish. <laughs> we all absolutely loved Angela's, didn't it? Jay, did we you? did. It was um, it was a really tough call. And it was hard. I have to say this was a very, very, very hard from the, the, the sourcing part of it. I mean, it was a tough one. You could put all those dishes in a restaurant. It's as good as any competition you've judged and absolutely shocking that all of it, well, not shocking, it was great that it was all free, but shocking that it's all wasted. Angela and Simon, you will return to the kitchen to go and prepare us wonderful puddings. So the judges have chosen a starter and a main course. Matt and Richard are going to be cooking super-sized versions of their dishes at the banquet.